What's up, Clashers? The Allfather here, bringing you our next war recap. And this was ugly. Uh, we faced a level 5 clan called EGY. They were an Egyptian clan. And this is probably by far the worst clan I've ever come across in uh, over a year of clashing. Um, 58 to 16, obviously the score, but they didn't even try. And uh, maybe just because we dominated so quickly out of the gate, but uh, they were terrible, and that's okay. Uh, we, of course, picked this war to have our most dominant performance, uh, 58 out of 60 stars uh, in a long time. Um, so hopefully we save some for the next time in case we get a, a much better opponent. But that's okay. There's still a lot of great three-star attacks to look at. And uh, even, uh, you know, we can learn a few things even from some of these bad clans and bad wars. So we're going to get right into the attacks and look at uh, number 14 here. Dragoon style attack by FL Soldier. Uh, he's going to bring lightning spells and uh, just standard 105 Dragoon. And of course with lightning, uh, he's going to pick the most convenient AD or the, the most difficult to get to AD. That's the one that's uh, solo on the other side of the town hall. Starts his funnel on the bottom. And all the storages are on the east and west or the left and right of the air defense. So all he's got to do is get that funnel going, keep everything going up the middle. That clan castle troops there is going to help pull everything to the middle and keep them going right where they need to go. So just continues with his funnel and as soon as that clan castle dragon pops he's going to spam the rest of his dragons in there. They're going to go up there, have a little battle time with the clan castle dragon. Drops his barbarian king there just to make sure that the funnel stays intact and everything start you know continues to go up the middle where he wants it. They don't start going off to the sides. And drops his clan castle balloons a little late, a lot late actually, but it's all right because those dragons are going right where they need to go, and they're going to single-handedly take out the air defenses there, allowing the dr balloons to kind of sneak in behind and. They're just going to slowly make their way up there while the dragons start splitting out. And you can see that the spread is very good. They started going up the middle, but now they spread out, basically covering the whole base from left to right. Meanwhile, your balloons are continuing to work their way through the defenses. They go up there and knock out the Teslas while the dragons are doing their work around the outside. And pretty simple attack. It wasn't a high level base, um, but it, it did require a good funnel and that's what FL Soldier did. Got everything to go up the middle exactly how he needed and everything just split great. Worked its way across the whole base for an easy three star victory. So Good job there FL Soldier. I think that might be the first replay of yours that we've seen on our war recaps and uh, a lot of three stars from FL, so appreciate that. And our next one is going to be from Awesome Sauce. And uh, this base, just to give credit where credit is due, uh, was already three starred once by the Great Guy, I believe, uh, with a straight go wipe. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to point out with this Awesome Sauce attack is how you can take that straight go wipe and add just a few hogs or a few balloons to make a what can often be a two-star strategy with go wipe into a three-star strategy. And so what Awesome Sauce is going to bring here is uh, what we would call a go wipe when you're going to have back-end balloons. Uh, you call it a, it's not a low go wipe because you're not using the balloons on the front side. So you can call it a go wipe snipe low. Did not make that term up. Credit to JTJ Clan for the terminology go wipe snipe low and all that means is just a go wipe with a handful of balloons whether it's four to six to eight to pick off buildings while things are being distracted and so you're gonna see here that the clan castle is easily lurable with a just a single troop so bad location there bad layout um, easy to drag to the corner and take out with a standard barb witch wizard clan castle kill 
As soon as that dragon's about to go down, you want to be able to launch your golems so they can tank for that kill squad. Create your funnel on the outsides. As soon as that funnel's created, you start dropping Barbarian King, Pekka's, everything else can start just going in right now. Uh, and you'll just see them working into the core. Since most of the air defense is located in the core, the purpose of that go wipe snipe blow is to get that core taken out, get everything distracted. You see the archer towers are just focused on everything else. Meanwhile, Awesome Sauce just drops in balloons, just four of them. But those balloons take out a handful of defenses on their own. And because they do that, there's just a ton of troops left for cleanup. Uh, all four balloons are still up, two P.E.K.K.A.s, Barbarian King, a couple of Wizards, an Archer and just overpowering more than enough troops to get the job done and there it is go wipe snipe low using your standard go wipe and substituting that third pekka for back end loons or hogs targeting those distracted defenses the next attack um, again we three starred all the way up pretty much all the town hall eight's gone it's going to take me just a second to find this one, but our next one is actually a Town Hall 8 hitting up to the lowest Town Hall 9. And that was authorized, of course, because everything had been 3-starred already. All the Town Hall 8s and 7s and everything below was taken out. And so why not practice going after a low-level Town Hall 9? And that's exactly what Darth did. And another reason I wanted to look at this attack is because we don't see a lot of the Earthquake spell used. And uh, it can be very effective, and especially when you just need a two-star uh, plunge into the middle, get the Town Hall type attack. And so another thing we also don't see a lot of is Valks. And we're going to see Valks used in this attack and also one other attack. Um, but just to show you... A variation on some things. Uh, still got to do the basics. He still does the lure, drags him to the corner, and he's going to use those earthquake spells. Now, at level one for sure, not positive on the higher levels, but basically it takes four earthquake spells to take out a set of walls. Uh, so you want those walls to be close together, which they were takes three golems because again he is hitting up a town hall level so he's going to need that extra tanking ability and then he breaks in there but you see those earthquake spells took out that whole inner core there two layers of walls and creates a direct path to the core he's got all the golems tanking then he sends in the valkyries and the great thing about the valkyries besides them being confused and running in circles is that they like to sit between buildings and you look how clustered everything is there in the core so they're not only taking out Tesla's and all those other things expos but they're also getting hits in on the town hall so sends in there that is a, a go viz attack and a triple golem bunch of valkyries and wizards and witches and you'll see there that was not necessarily a very low level Town Hall 9. It had upgraded Expos and some you know very low level heroes but for Town Hall 8 very good attack good enough for a two star and sometimes you need a Town Hall 8 to be able to hit up and get that two star victory uh, to allow your Town Hall 9's to hit down so great job there from Darth on uh, the lowest Town Hall 9 we are now going to look at what actually three-starred that base, though. And what we're going to bring here is a pentaloon attack. And quickly, just so that you know why this strategy was ideal. Um, in the pre-base scouting, what you look at is air defenses. Those air defenses are low level for Town Hall 9. They're all sixes. Uh, in addition, the expos are both pointed down. That's why when you are a Town Hall 9, you point your Expos up, especially if you have underpowered air defenses. Both air sweepers are pointing the same direction. So there's a lot of bad base design going on here that allows a Pentaloon to be successful. So let's watch how this attack unfolds by Dead Wizard. Uh, 
Tries to get a lure there with a giant. Unfortunately, it goes for the corner instead of kind of going in. Uh, to make up for that, sends in the balloon behind. Uh, with the pentaloon attack, it's not required, but with these high-level dragons, it's very much recommended to get the lure and kill done. And that can be accomplished easily if your heroes are high enough by dragging that, dragging the dragon out to the corner and using the royals to take it out. Drop the queen out there, he locks onto her. Barbarian king uses her ability right away because he doesn't want the dragon to lock in on the archer queen. He wants it to lock in on the barbarian king. Just as if we were distracting it with uh, a witch barbarian or a barbarian wizard clan castle kill. Then it's just the pentaloon attack. You send three at one and two at the other, followed by the balloons. And that queen is going to be distracted by that. Rage spells are going to go down right around the queen because when that, when those pups start to burst and those lava pups start to come out, we want them to lock onto the queen and be under rage and take her out immediately. Uh, and then you're going to launch the other two lava hounds at the other air defense. And targeted balloons around the outside and you'll see that uh, keep everything in rage around the core the whole time the lava hounds are soaking up all the damage and all the attacks from the air defenses because they had them so closely clustered around the air defenses uh, that everything is targeting the lava hounds so the balloons have free reign and you'll see even after all the air defenses down there's still a good six seven Balloons left and a lava hound, I believe, flying around in there. Maybe two. And uh, sometimes that can hurt you if they don't all bust because then you don't have the pups out there for cleanup. But it brings about uh, four extra minions on the backside just to help with the cleanup. Uh, understood that it was very possible that the lava hound wouldn't bust and that it would need some extra cleanup. And uh, so that is the pentaloon attack. Against those low-level air defenses at Town Hall 9, it Expos pointed down in low-level Queen. Very powerful and pretty consistent attack. And last but not least, take a look at 3-star attack against number 2 base by yours truly, the Allfather. And pretty excited about this attack. Um, not because I 3-starred necessarily, but because this was... The first war style attack using Max Valks for me. And uh, looking at this base, all I could think of was that it was a perfect Govalo base. As much as I hated it to try to experiment in war, uh, it's just so well set up. And the reason being because if you look at the air defenses, they're clustered together in a small tight group there. You can tell very easily from pre-scouting that there's going to be quad Teslas at the town hall. So in that small compartment, that bottom, you know, 50% of the base in that little square is almost anything that's going to be targeting air defense. Air sweepers are both down there, four archer towers, four air defenses, two expos pointed up, and the queen. On the back side to the north, the only thing up there of any consequence to uh, balloon follow-up is going to be really the wizard towers, which are going to be engaged with everything in the core. And so that was the strategy or the thinking behind this. Uh, it is not a terrible setup because that clan castle is very centralized, so we went in without a lure. Uh, with a Govalo and any Valk attack, you have to make a very wide funnel, wider than you normally would with like a Go Wipe or anything like that, uh, because Valkyries target buildings that are close together. And if you leave some, even if they're outside, their, I, their AI will uh, lead them out that direction. Jump Spell is going to get into the core, into those quad Teslas that are going to pop. And now those Valks are going to start to go into action. Got a heal spell to keep them alive, knowing that there's going to be uh, dragon and balloons in the castle. Rage everything up to get that clan castle taken out as quickly as possible. And there the dragon goes down. Get them healed back up as they head to the core. And now all we're doing is just waiting for these air defenses to go down. The one on the right goes down. Expo is on its way down. 
And as soon as it's down, watch the top right of your screen. Balloons start coming in immediately. Now, last thing we're working on is that last air defense. Immediately, those balloons come down on the other side. It was very tactical. It's very timed attack, but um, again, honestly, it wasn't all that difficult. The way it panned out, it worked out just the way it was supposed to, which doesn't always happen. Uh, you can see there, double giant bomb set. Kind of tripped up some of the troops there, but uh, plenty of tank left and these balloons. There's enough of them, all four of them going at each one of those defenses that they will take out those wizard towers. And from there, it's just cleanup mode, back end uh, minions and archers and just a few extra cleanup troops. So, um, can't say I'm not proud of myself for that one, but again, it comes down to just scouting and trusting your instinct on the scouting and taking the right attack into it. And uh, you need a little luck and a lot of good execution, but uh, I think we're, we're heading a long way in those areas. And... Um, we're getting better each and every war. This one was not much of a challenge, obviously, but I think even if it was, uh, at least with these bases that they had, uh, we would have smoked any clan. So uh, great job to everybody. Um, took out this clan, jumped out to a 46 or 49 to 1 lead before they even got about three attacks in. And uh, so sorry, EG. Um, you know, better luck next time, I guess. Maybe get all new clan members. Who knows? Um, join a different clan that knows how to fight. But um, not to take anything away from us. It was a great war. And just continue to improve, continue to upgrade. And uh, the next one, I'm sure, will be more of a challenge. It couldn't be much less. So uh, until next time, the Allfather signing off.